there was a situation, uh, a job situation um, a few years ago that uh, we really uh, made an impact with this customer. Um, I received a call from uh, a salesperson who heard about us uh, through a friend of his and uh, heard about our forged bonding process. And so I got on the phone uh, with him and the customer and we talked through the situation. And this particular customer um, had a very large, uh, I'll call it a football field diameter uh, storage tank. Um, and it had a leaking floating roof. Okay, it was a, a very bad leak. They had been fighting it for two to three months. And they'd made several attempts using uh, self-tapping screws, drilling holes around the, um, the repair or the leaking point, and then using self-tapping screws to uh, hold a plate down with some kind of sealant material and it continued to leak. So they then used polymers to adhere a very large um, repair box over uh, that area. And this area was under the rolling ladder on the, the floating roof, which that's a very common place for leaks to form and corrosion to develop because it's a heavy, a heavy point on the tank roof. It's got a lot more steel there. And so it tends to be a low point and it collects water and chlorides and other materials that, that lead to corrosion. And so um, the customer um, was unable to um, offload a barge that was uh, sitting offshore. Um, and that barge, um, and the reason is that the tank was not usable because the leak was so bad. So they were having to pay the demerge uh, charges for uh, letting that barge sit offshore, which my understanding that's in the order of $25,000 a day. Uh, it all depends on the size of the barge, but and you know, the, the markets change and fluctuate. But generally speaking, that's probably a good rule of thumb, um, as well as a mid to large size tank can easily cost twenty five to thirty five thousand dollars a day in lost production. So you've got those two charges. And so over the few months that they were dealing with this issue, they were well in excess of a million dollars. And that that would also include the vendor charges uh, for making these repair attempts. So this customer was in bad shape and, and they heard about us after they'd spent all this money. And uh, 11 days later, we had them up and running again. Um, and so we estimate that the cost to them, and, and they told us before we did our work that if we can't fix it, they're taking this tank out of production. Um, and so <clears throat> we had them up and running in 11 days. Um, we saved them, we're estimating on the order of five to $10 million in both costs um, it would have been an unscheduled outage, and unscheduled outages always take longer and cost more than a scheduled outage. So we assume that this, uh, this was an unscheduled outage and probably would have taken on the order of a year to replace. Um, and uh, also in the demerge uh, costs and taking the tank out of service. Um, so five to $10 million is, is what we assume we saved them. And, and like I said, in 11 days, we had them up and running. Uh, they were very thrilled. In fact, this customer... Um, has been uh, a very large customer, uh, has been over, over time uh, in bringing us back repeatedly. In fact, they even made a comment to us, uh, to our technicians out on the job site, that they're no longer going to use polymers alone, just without putting a forged bond repair plate over it. They said they don't last. It's a constant headache for them to continue to address. And so they're going to call us. And they did that for, uh, uh, have been doing that for quite a few years. So um, this is uh, another one of those jobs that we're very proud of. We've brought tremendous cost savings to our customers and, uh, the customer, um, uh, has, uh, planned to use us on, um, uh, future occasions. Um, and we actually are working with a second facility, um, for that customer. This one's in Texas.